Yeah, thank you very much. I'm speaking for Dodu Zhu. She is in China, and this was her work. So we had a project with um, Inside Tech and Capsule Tech to develop cyclodextrin as drug delivery over these various stages from the design of the carrier uh, onto the first in vivo. So the carrier cyclodextrin is actually known. It picks up a drug such as doxorubicin, but it releases also very easy, picks up again. So the huge effort was to create a stable complex which does not um, release a drug and take the drug up. So we had to design a kind of flexible cup, we called it, for the drug carrier to pick up the doxorubicin, which then well, well covers each molecule. So it's a very small carrier compared to liposomes. Um, the encapsulation efficiency was increased and uh, the pH stability tested and then in a trial, um, which I not cover here, the organ uptake was measured, which is very little and most of the carrier, you see this from the reddish color in the urinary bladder here in the mice, is just extracted by the kidney with no side effects. Thermal sensitivity was our key target by uh, applying the focused ultrasound, um, which we also by modification of the carrier um, identified and included, and then it went into the in vitro cytotoxicity test. We used KB cells and HCT 116 cells with docs alone, with carrier, um, and we um, measure the viability of the cells in terms of the survival. Uh, this is a good result and um, at a certain threshold certainly the cells are all dead, which is not our target. So it worked quite well in the uh, adjustment. Then um, we went on to the drug uptake, keep KB HCT cells with a carrier. It's also a significant uh, change here docs alone and docs plus carrier. And then we went on to the uh, in vitro ultrasound application of the drug uh, delivery. We designed therefore um, a special sonicator operated um, by <coughs> software programming so that each uh, sonication and different frequency uh, could be applied. and. We used the well plates to create kind of a high throughput um, validation of this. Uh, the problem was to get in such a small well an appropriate acoustic field um, with variable parameters um, and also to differentiate mechanical from temperature effects, which I think is more or less impossible. But at least we tried to identify the temperature precisely with uh, infrared camera on top of the whole system to monitor the temperature increase and also in addition with thermocouples um, to measure each well and see what the, what the temperature rise in each cell so that we know exactly what's happening. And this then went into drug release and uptake um, in the certain temperature level with a mild increase of temperature and then we had uh, also significant Improvement. So this seemed to be okay from a, a chemical point of view, but we also did AFM tests of the cells, of the membranes, um, in comparison with the micro bubble, which we thought would significantly enhance uptake, which we all know does, but also it ruptures the cell membrane, which has an effect um, which we don't know yet. Exactly. We translated into the clinical system uh, to put the well on the um, Exoblade 2000 and you see here then in the programming done by the fantastic team of Inside Tech that each well can be sonicated even in that dimension. So we thought this important because we need to carry on uh, on a clinical system and in the final phase of the study we went into a mice model. We also had to adjust for these small mice which are very good at, as a tumor model but they're very small for MRFAS. 
but lack of hair and a very valuable oncological model. So we designed a specific mouse house to fully monitor the mouse um, and to apply appropriate MR imaging with high resolution. This is uh, the experimental breast coil from Inside Tech. And then we have the setting here in a different uh, design monitoring of the mice. And then we went on MR imaging, MR guided sonication and different levels with encapsulated drug um, and <coughs> non-encapsulated drug, low energy, exposure duration, relatively short, mild temperature increase, and low with no uptake in the other organs, but the additional uptake um, in the tumor. So this is now goes into the next step. So in conclusion, doxorubicin was encapsulated uh, well, with the cyclodextrin became a very stable carrier. We were able to do the uh, cell viability tests, and then it went into first um, in vivo test of the whole setup, including the drug uptake of free docs and encapsulated drug in other organs. Um, this is, I think, uh, the uh, team I have to mention. Um, around supporting Dodo and the support of the European Commission for this project. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Thank you so much for that very nice presentation. We have time for one really quick question. All right. Very quick question regarding the pharmacokinetics of the cyclodextrin doxorubicin. Is there a chance that we, you know the half-life of uh, uh, cyclodextrin doxorubicin uh, complex? Well, the half-life is ours, um, it's ours. but okay. we don't know exactly. This is something what the company, as their own product, further develops, okay. the cyclodextrin, independent from the focused ultrasound. And it's definitely longer than thermodox? I mean, if we That's can what, compare, what we found, we longer, yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, thank, thank you, you so much.